Hi, Shep Hyken here, customer service and experience expert. And today I'm gonna to talk about how you can make the customer experience great. Now, if you had to have surgery, would you rather go to the most skilled surgeon or the nicest surgeon? So I was at a party the other night and someone I met shared the opinion of the difference between a good doctor and a great doctor. A good doctor makes you well. Well, a great doctor makes you well and calls you the next day to see how you're doing. So I thought about that all weekend. What my new friend was saying was that good is doing what you're expected to do. And if you're a surgeon, you make people well. However, great is the addition of a better customer experience. And in this case, it's the surgeon. And that experience is skills plus bedside manner. So here's a less critical example. If you were to go to a restaurant that has the most delicious food, but the service is just outright terrible, you wouldn't refer to that as a great experience. The food could be the best, but if what surrounds it, which is the experience, is tainted with rude and angry employees, you'd be reluctant to return. So back to my friend's example, the doctor's bedside manner, which included a phone call to check on the patient, is a metaphor for a good customer experience, or in this case, a patient experience. Well, here's another example. Sweetwater is an online retailer that sells music and audio equipment. And they assigned me a salesperson to my account. I bought a new microphone and a mixing board from them last year. And a week after it arrived, my salesperson called me to make sure it was working, confirm I was happy with my purchase. Now, a good experience would have been talking to my salesperson, ordering the equipment, and having it show up as expected in the next day or two. What elevated this to a great experience was the less than one minute phone call that I received from my guy. Creating a great customer experience doesn't mean going over the top. On occasion, you have opportunities to do so, but if your typical experience includes a little something extra, like a phone call to check on a customer, you move beyond just being good. Our customer service research found that the top reason customers are likely to come back is when employees are helpful and friendly. It's expected that the doctor has skills. If the doctor is also helpful and friendly, another way of saying the doctor has good bedside manner, then by my friend's definition, they are a great doctor. So what's your version of bedside matter? What little something can you add to the experience so that people refer to you as great? Now, don't answer me. Sit down with your team and answer these questions for yourself and your organization. Define your version of what would make you a great doctor. Communicate it to your people, train them to deliver on it, and watch your customers' reactions who will be rewarding you by saying, I'll be back. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.